Welcome to another episode of Entrepreneurs in Fuego. We're documenting the journey of amazing entrepreneurs one digital footprint at a time. Got my main man right here, Shen Volen. Yes, sir. Did you see? Did you notice my German accent. <laughs> Volen. There you go. Volen in American, new American funding. That is correct. I, yeah. Are you noticing the segues at, at all? I see a lot there. I'm just yeah. a pro. <laughs> you are good. <laughs> How you doing, brother? Doing very well. New Thank American you funding. Me. This is about your journey. We're going to get to your journey here a little bit, but what do you do for New American Funding? So I am a licensed loan officer with yep. New American Funding, and I'm in the top 1% of the country, and I'm in the top 1% Whoa. for that. <laughs> Stop the presses <laughs> right here. Woo, yes, man. Good job. But No, it's hard work getting there, but uh, New American Funding has the platform for me to do what I need to do as a... Self-employed somewhat because we build our own business and sure, build our own booking business. You. But uh, great company to work for, but uh, I have my own branch in Desert Ridge area and uh, it's a pleasure to work for them. It's a great industry to be in. 1% in, in the top 1% of the United States, that's gotta be pretty competitive out there. Yeah, it's very competitive. It's extremely competitive. Uh, it's a very relationship-based bi business, and uh, it's just about getting to know people and interlocking inter uh, with different but communities. And what, what makes you different? What makes you at the top 1%? What Good is, question. What is I the think, sauce? What is um, the secret sauce? I'm passionate. Yeah. Um, I care. Okay. Um, I, my motto is work with honesty, integrity, and trust. All right. So I think when you meet someone face-to-face, -face, the first thing you do is you size them up on yep. three things, integrity, trust, and honesty. Like, sure. can, you, can you trust that person? And I think I, I can be trusted because my, my track record shows that. Um, I'm very highly educated in the industry, so I know. I'm very creative. I come from an arts background in acting, so I'm very creative. Um, and I can get along with all, all people. And, and by the way, to clarify, when you say creative, it's because you can see the same piece of paper in many different ways. Exactly. It is still the same piece of paper, mm -hmm. but the way that you submit it sometimes to an underwriter makes the difference. Makes in the, the world. world of difference. Absolutely. So I get di right. I get people that have been declined from banks and credit unions all over the valley, wow. and they come to me and they're like, "Can you help?" And I analyze their situation. I ask a lot of deep questions, sure. and I figure out different ways of getting it done. It, and it is the same person, the, the same, same person. facts. But it's the way that you package it, the way that you present it, that is the difference. That is exactly. And they might need a few tweaks, and it might right. take 30 days to get them to be ready. Right, right, right. But I hold their hand through that. And, and you have the patience to do it then. I do, yes. And that makes patience. you the 1%. You see, patience that Patience is key. <laughs> <laughs> now we're discovering what makes you the 1%. Yes. Um, how long have you been in this loan business? 16 years. All right. So you went through the beautiful, beautiful... Uh, 2003, four, five. You know, Mark Mozilla yeah. uh, and um, the Mozilla family, they're, yep. they're good friends of mine. Okay. And I, I knew them. We played basketball with yeah. Mark all the time. Uh, countrywide home loans for those yep. people who don't know what we're talking about. And those were interesting times. That they were. So, Patty Arvillo, who is our owner of our company, yeah. worked directly with the Mozilla family at Countrywide and stole a lot of the ideas and the way that they worked their company and built new American funding. Got it. So it's a, it's a good company, but great group of people, and those people are, yeah, they took the fall for something that well, look, is pretty big. Here's, here's what happens. When you enable, I mean, when the whole system enables a machine to run, it's difficult to pinpoint the culprit. Yeah. Because if the money is still flowing, and you have willing and able borrowers mm -hmm. who are willing to borrow, to buy, or to refinance, pursuant to the way the game is being offered, well, who is to blame there? The biggest guy, the right. fall guy. The they fall. always take it. Right, yeah. right. So, all right, so, so new funding adapted a lot of the marketing ideas, I would imagine, for Countrywide, et cetera. Yeah, a lot of the philosophies. And a lot of philosophy, and then it applied it to, to what you... To common day guidelines, et cetera, yeah. Phenomenal. Yeah, Phenomenal. it's a good company, but it's, uh, it's a fun industry. It's a lot of work, but it's a fun industry. <laughs> what did you do before then? I was, well, funny you should ask. Um, I started as a child actor. Uh, so for 10, 11 years, I was a professional actor in Hollywood. Yes. And then I became a substitute teacher and follow, well, I, I went to college and then I became do, a substitute teacher. Do we recognize teacher. any of the shows? Or oh yeah, shows? oh yeah, you'll recognize like, all like, of them. Like what? Like what? Uh, MacGyver, I, was, I played the role of MacGyver as a kid. <laughs> so uh, I actually own MacGyverHomeLoans.com. <laughs> <laughs> That became a verb, right? I yeah, I'm going to MacGyver that. that totally. Yeah. Do, do people still remember the, oh, yeah. the connections? I mean, the, the and it's new funny. millennials. And millennials stuff? like the show. They, oh they, get, they get it from Netflix. It's, it's great. No kidding. It's great. So, so, so you played. I played the, MacGyver as a kid when he had flashbacks when he was a kid. 
Um, but I was on Who's the Boss, Wonder Years, Highway to Heaven, Mr. Belvedere, uh, Hunter. I was on RoboCop, um, a lot of other 80s shows, and about 100 commercials. So Hot Wheels commercials, He-Man commercials, Star Wars commercials, all kinds of stuff like that. <laughs> it was fun. It was a good time. So there you are. So I, I've, I've definitely have seen you yeah? on TV somewhere. Cause that Probably. Year, man, I know you. I've seen you somewhere. Yeah, I, I recognize your yeah, face. Yeah, you were my guy when he was a kid. Yeah, I got it all the time in high school. People were like, I saw you on TV last night. But uh, it was fun. The jump from being uh, a child actor to uh, what you're doing now, mm -hmm. why? Why didn't you just continue doing the acting? I wanted to have something, well, Hollywood is not friendly to kids, let's just be honest. Right. Child actors usually end up in the wrong side of the fence. Um, so I wanted to make sure I was grounded, so I got my degree, and then uh, I got married, and then I had kids, So and I was the sole uh, provider for the family so I wanted to make sure that I had a very strong foundation for my family so I will probably get back into acting after my kids are grown um, do in fact you, I know I will do, do your kids watch your old show oh yeah that's dad yeah, they, I want to be an actor it's normal to them <laughs> it's normal to them because they've always known me as that person right so when people ask them you know what was it like seeing your dad they're like I don't know he's just on TV the, they, trans the transition to be uh, to the loan business mm -hmm. Why the loan business? I mean, you could have been anybody. I think it's because of the social interaction that I gained okay. through my experience in the acting world. I can become a chameleon. Right. So if I've got a person that is a sports player, I can rise to their level and I can understand and meet them at their, of where they're at. If it's a first time home buyer, I can meet them at their level. I, I put on the, 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 I guess not the facade, but I can relate to all aspects of them because of my acting ability. So it, it really comes into play a lot. When you talk to someone, then you are providing uh, the experience that you have, I mean, the education that you have, and the knowledge that you have really comes across not so much as um, a loan officer, if you will, but much as, hey, I'm, I'm presenting, I'm putting this acting right here in front of you. I'm going to explain to you all these different things, that, yeah. all these different programs that you can have for your loan in your house. Exactly, and there's a lot of psychology, um, which I have a degree in psychology, so. <laughs> <laughs> so when you see an individual, when you see a family, yeah. and you can understand that dynamic, you can understand A, how to communicate properly, uh, B, what they're going through to be sensitive on different topics, and help them accordingly. And I'm not just a person that looks at something and says, approved. I am. I, I come alongside them. I'm a certified mortgage planning specialist, so I actually go in and I, I look at it as a financial tool, and I help them as a family to grow into a home that is a home, not just a house, not just a mortgage. What are the challenges for um, a lot of us who are uh, self-employed is marketing. Mm -hmm. How do we get our next client? How do we get our next member? How do we get our next um, person who's gonna come in and buy our services or products? How do you market yourself? Um, a lot of it is by word of mouth, mm -hmm. and I get out. So I'm, a, I'm part of a quite a few different um, groups of individual, uh, like hobbies or nonprofits that I'm a part of, and I spread the word through those. Um, it's very grassroots. Um, yes, I do advertising through the internet. Yes, I do advertising on Zillow and all right. of those. But I get the most bang for buck being in front of people going meeting with them one-on-one, -on -one, going being a part of something that means something for somebody. I'm part of Homes for Heroes example, as an example, so that helps veterans, teachers, and um, healthcare professionals, first responders get discounts. Yeah. But I feel passionate about that because every male in my family was in the military. Um, so there's things like that that I just get out and be part of, and uh, they know me for, for my passions, and they know me that what I do. So it's a good connection. Uh, you've been in this business for, for a long time, and I know that sometimes you could probably get um, burned out <laughs> after doing a lot of loans and everything else. Certainly. There's, there's certainly you know, some kind of an industry burnout. Absolutely. Um, what do you do for fun? What do you, how do you, how do you, do, how do you distress? Because I'm sure that you've overcome a lot of obstacles to get to where you are. How do Absolutely. You um, I, I work hard, play hard. That's my motto. So um, I work very hard, but then when I take a vacation, it's a good vacation with my family. And I don't unplug 100%, but I, I spend a lot of time with my family. And family is first. Um, so they, and they know that. So if my kids need to be picked up, work's on hold and I go get them. And my, I let my clients know that too. So they see me as a real person. And they see that I really do care about my family. Do they freak out when you go on vacation? They're like, oh, well, I got my loan that is going yes. to go on. What yes. am I going to do? How but you know, in this, in this technolo <laughs> the technology we have today, yeah. it's easy to work from anywhere. 
Right. And I've got a great team that can handle it when I'm out, and, uh, but I'm always available. Would you recommend somebody to go into the loan business uh, in, in the type of uh, environment in which we're in? I would. And um, the reason- is, is money loosening now a little bit? Um, I wouldn't say it's loosening. I would say it's in a good, healthy spot. Okay. Uh, we're lending to people that can afford it. Okay. And we're lending to people that should be able to make the payments. Whereas before, it was all over the map. Um, but yes, I say it's a great industry, and uh, I would say that because you can make as much money as you want. Um, you could make a, a very little amount and have a lot of free time. Um, so the, the aspects of, of where you want to be in that spectrum are very open. Uh, so if you want to be the top 1%, you can work 23 hours a day and do that, yep. or you can work three or four hours a day and just do a couple here and there. So uh, it really has a lot of flexibility to it. Variable loans are still around? They are, yeah. They are? Are they, they, are. Type, are they still tied to the LIBOR or no? There's LIBOR, there's MTA, there's all, there's all types of indexes that are lied, tied to, but... Um, I, I would have thought that the LIBOR would have disappeared. The LIBOR is very low right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very cheap loan right now. <laughs> and, and, and probably the margins are very, very, very small. Today. Yeah, and the rates are in the twos on our Jasper rate oh, mortgages. So it's, very, it's cheap money. Cheap money. Very cheap money. Yeah. 30 year money. 30 years money. in the threes and fours. That's right here. Cool. Yes. Tom, you want a loan? Buy a house, refinance. Shem Volan. MacGyverHomeLoans.com. MacGyver. <laughs> <laughs> Never forget that. Never the forget. The child of the 80s. There you go. So am I. With that, we're out. <laughs>